Okay, let's see if I can do this quick. Anyway, because honestly, last time I did it, last couple times, all uh, YouTube just connected me for some freaking reason. Anyway, I'm gonna be reviewing the Michael Jackson album "Bad." Uh, start off with "Bad." Oh, hell. But I got the 25th anniversary edition as well. That's what. Because I'm trying to learn some bass. Anyway, bay. Okay, I'm gonna count down to go kind of quick because I want to make sure I get this. Bad. First song, bad. Good song. Good groove. Catchy chorus. Dance. I don't say I was dancing in my seat the entire and to this iconic song. The way you, now we get to the way you make me feel. Good groove. Classic romantic pop song. Easy to sing along with. I approve. Now we get to Speed Demon, which I had a problem with. Because honestly, I I had to get, actually get on YouTube and find out, type in Michael Jackson Speed Demon lyrics. And then, well, it started jacking up on me. Anyway. Because honestly, I listened to this and saw the lyrics. Michael could have done a lot better with this song. I'm sorry, he just could have. Uh, Liberian Girl. Nice romantic beat. The music fits the title, which I like. Just Good Friends. A little bit poppy in a good way. Synth. A little synth heavy, but, well, you know what? But in a good way, honestly. Another part of me, this I had a big problem with because it's kind of hard to hear. Basically, say this, say this is uh, the the music right here, and Michael Jackson sounded like he way in the friggin' background. If you get my, if you get what I'm saying, with him, he you know what has it either like even or him a little up front. This is like that. I don't know what. How Quincy Jones and and Michael Jackson let this one get get out. I just don't. Man in the Mirror to me is a beautiful song. It just is. I just can't stop loving you. It's a really pretty song. Good duet to me. It could have been, it could have been in a musical. Dirty Diana. This surprised me. It's a kind of a power ballad, which I dig. Uh, and an awesome uh, guitar. Smooth criminal. Great bass line. And I, great lyrics. And honestly, an iconic song. Leave Me Alone. Great groove. Great song. And a great way to, uh, great way to, and add an album. So, would I, do I, do I think this album's perfect? No, because it has those two big problems. But I still give it a 7.5 out of 10. You know? Anyway, if you have, oh, my next album review is going to be, uh, with, is going to be Jackals When Moonshine and Dynamite Collide. If you have any, if you have any, uh, oh, and I don't know, oh, yeah, I'm probably going to, they'll probably do this, uh, weekend, because I'm trying to, uh, slow down my videos a little bit. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments you want me to do videos on, email me at lancemonstv at gmail.com. And, hey, if you have any suggestions for me, let me know. Like, take a comment down there, hit me up on Facebook. Whatever you gotta do. Anyway, hit me up on, yeah, email me at lancemonstv at gmail.com. Uh, uh, hit me up on Facebook, comment, comment, please subscribe. Anyway, yeah, like I said, I'm trying to, uh, because I'm trying to, I'm gonna be doing, I don't, just dumb, doubling up. Kind of takes a little bit out of me, so I'm probably gonna take a little. Slow it down just a little bit. I might do. I might do. I'll probably do some more uh, 
double days next week. But anyway, I'll see y'all later. And let me know what y'all think. And hit me up. Bye.